Good morning, you guys. So um, you're getting me this morning, um, how shall we say, in my uh, true environment. I am makeup free. It is the day after I got back from Disney. And those of you that know, when you get back from a trip like this, it's hard, right? Like you're tired, you're worn out, you start to feel a little bit behind on things, like in my case, work. But I'm really trying to take today to just relax. I've got my coffee in front of me. Um, I might do a little bit of editing. I'm not 100% sure yet. I have laundry to do. I want to finish unpacking. I'm a big uh, proponent of unpacking pretty much like as soon as I get home. I don't know. You can tell my husband was here because he buys Fruit Loops. I don't eat Fruit Loops. I actually love Fruit Loops, but the sugar is not good for me. And I just had a nice, lovely week of vacationing. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. If you're not subscribed and you want more great content, really try to focus on the positive side of life, but you know, stuff happens. Okay. So here's my breakfast. Max, of course, is very interested in my breakfast. <laughs> no, you may not have any of my breakfast, Maxie. I love you. Walter is interested as well. You want to share, Mom? No, I do not. Uh, what, what do I want to say? I'm trying to take the advice of my friend, Cindy, who is a midlife girl. You guys, I've collaborated with her on a video before. I'll put it right here. We did a great video. Um, we both talked about what we love about being middle-aged and being in the middle of our lives. But um, on her Instagram stories and on her channel, she talks a lot about intentional sloth, and I am really trying to embrace the attitude of intentional sloth today. Um, I really, there's nothing that I have to get done other than the unpacking, and really, like if I just set my mind to it, I can get it done. Um, <laughs> my friend Brooke has the Carousel of Progress complete soundtrack, because she's a huge fan. And when she packs, she puts it on and she says if it goes through more than twice, she knows she's in trouble with the packing process because it's like a lot of things. Things don't really take as long as you think they're going to, especially things you're procrastinating about. So I'll probably like put on a timer and try to get it done. Maybe I'll put on some music that I like and uh, just try to bang it out because especially because I'm leaving on another trip so quickly, I really do need to be super organized. So now watch what I'm going to do. Hey, Max. Hey, Max, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Okay, I guess that's a yes, so let me go take him. <laughs> okay, so intentional slothing is continuing. And for those of you who may be wondering where Scotty is, um, he is on a trip. I think he's in Savannah tonight. Honestly, people ask me all the time where he is, and honestly, I don't know. Um, he, it's not like I can't find out. It's just that every week he flies and he usually flies a three or four day trip and so that means he's somewhere different every night and i have no idea where he is i do know he'll be home tomorrow and this trip was a little tricky because we were definitely like ships passing in the night because he left before i did and then i'm getting back before he did so it'll be like 11 days that we haven't seen each other and we've been married 30 years but I still, like, I miss him. When I'm home, I miss him if he's gone three days. I miss him less if I'm on a trip just because I'm busy. But um, 11 days is a long time for us. We don't normally do that unless, like, he's in training or sometimes if I'm in Europe. But um, if you wonder if I still miss him when he's gone, yes. I always miss him when he's gone. And I always get, um, <laughs> so stupid, you guys. I've been married to a pilot. I mean, he's been a pilot for all of our marriage and I still get like a little catch whenever he leaves. Anyway, he'll be back tomorrow and I think he's home for like four days so we'll have some good time together. Okay, so I'm gonna pause Cindy. Whoops. See how talented I am with one hand. Not very evidently. There we go. So I am, my sloth is continuing. I am catching up on friends YouTube videos. And I am watching Cindy, a.k.a. Disney Queen. She has done a great video, and I think she ended up making a wreath for Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. So if you have not checked out her channel, there is her channel name. Let's see if I can get that to focus in. Cindy, a.k.a. Disney Queen, all one word. I just adore her. I always tell her something about her voice just calms me down and makes me happy. So I'm watching her this morning. Um, I just got done watching a video by Becca Hart. 
Um, if you guys were wondering if I watch YouTube videos still, I do, not as much as I used to. Um, oh, it looks like I have a Jade Billington video to check up on. Let's see what YouTube is recommending to me today. Um, super enthused, Jackie, of course, always watch Jackie. How to pay off your debt, hemp flavor after, definitely going to catch up on that. Dis unplugged, see you real soon. Promise hope, love her. Like, these are just like people, there's my friend Michael K popping up. This is what it's recommending that I watch. This always cracks me up because it recommended I watch my own video. <laughs> Ugh. So now, sigh, I have to unpack. I already left all of my laundry downstairs. Um, you know what was funny about this trip is all of my various bags, I think they took up more space than, <laughs> than my actual clothes. Okay, the unpacking is continuing, and this will make you guys laugh. It's not labeled. It does have a label on it, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, I could put a label on it. I should put, like, Disney bags and hats. But this is the box where all of the excessive amount of <laughs> Disney bags go. I just had to take this guy out in order to make room. I really do think I'm getting rid of him, you guys. I love him, but I just never use him. So anyway, in here, um, this one will come back out for the cruise. But here are all of the bags that I take on my Disney trips. Depending on the trip, we'll de determine which bag I'm going to take. We've got our new Winnie the Pooh one, and then my Disney ball caps, which the Disney ball caps are a big deal. So um, I am far more likely to wear the ball caps in the parks than I am um, my ears. Um, so yeah, this is where everything lives, and that goes on the top of my closet. And then when I go for my next Disney trip, I can pull everything out which some of these are going to go on the cruise with me. And since it's a Halloween cruise, I think at least the um, Sully backpack is going. And I think I'm definitely taking this one because it is a DVC member cruise. So you got to take your DVC member bag, right? Right. Of course, right. Ah! So this is the less fun part of unpacking. <laughs> this is everything I just took out of the Everywhere backpack, which by the way, for those of you that asked, this is by a way... Um, this was the backpack I chose to use this trip. I loved this backpack. The organization in this thing is amazing. I may have to do a whole separate review just on this backpack. Um, but the amount of pockets that it has, and my favorite part is this security pocket, right? This zipper security compartment right here, especially if you're traveling to, you know, some European cities, or if you're worried about pit pick pockets that's where your passport can go so as far as to use as a day bag it would be amazing um, to take as a secondary bag and then use as a day bag not sure if this is going to go on my next cruise with me um, but my husband's going to have a hard time getting this back so um, but this is just various you know when you get back from a, any kind of vacation but I kept a whole bunch of paperwork I need to go through because I can write off a lot of my travel expenses, but like I've got, I saved like the letter from the club lounge. I just, a bunch of different, a lot of this is garbage. And of course we had chocolates on our pillow every night. So I have Disney parks to your deli. And I think I have like eight pieces of this that I will be, um, rationing. <laughs> this was a really cute little cozy for my coffee cup that I used a lot. This is from my friend Missy and it's Casey's Crochet Corner. If you're interested, I'll put the link below. I saved, oh my God, I wish I hadn't have gotten this all crumpled up, but you know, what are you going to do? This is, they would give us these every day that we were there and it would say like all of our plans for the day, which is super nice. And um, this was our departure day. So sadly it said, see you real soon. Ah, your hometown weather, high of 80 degrees. It's so beautiful today. Oh my gosh. I'm loving Atlanta today. And then a random sock. This is good youtuber -y. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who watched my What's in My Toiletry Bag video, you know that I have this box. And this is what makes it so easy when I unpack because all of these kinds of things that went with me, that's my regular lipstick, but these are all of my travel things. And I can just throw those back in there. And when I go to pack for my next trip, which is in 13 days, everything is already in there and ready to go. Now we 
we've got my toiletry bags can go back in here and all of my um, essentials for packing are here. So I'm all ready to go when I go to pack on my next trip. And I'm gonna go grab those uh, packing cubes and put those where they go as well. The packing cubes are back in the packing cube drawer. If you have not seen my video where I tell you guys how I organize the packing part of my closet, please go check that out. I'll put a link right here. But my suitcase is back where she goes and things are ready for the next trip. So um, this has been a lot of fun. I mean, this is just the kind of thing that I hope to do a little bit more on this channel. So if you like these kinds of videos from me, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notifications. <laughs> you just, oh my God, I have to show you guys. Hang on. What are you doing, Bubba? It's like, I'm gonna get closer to mama. Get closer to mama. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I hope whatever you're doing today, you find joy. And if you are suffering from post-vacation depression, Make sure you get unpacked and organized. It really, it, I, I actually do feel better now and mostly because you guys did it with me. So thanks for that. Um, new videos every week. Talk to you later. Bye.